Here are 10 things you probably didn't know about cystic fibrosis. Number one, an interesting symptom of cystic fibrosis is that patients generally have salty skin. Cystic fibrosis is caused by a mutation in a gene called the transmembrane conductance regulator gene, also known as the CFTR gene. This gene controls the movement and absorption of salt within the body, which also includes salt being reabsorbed after sweating. When mutations occur, normal salt absorption is disrupted. So instead of sweating and have the salt being reabsorbed, the salt stays outside of the body and dries, causing salty skin. This lowers the amount of salt in the body, which can contribute to other problems like heat stroke. Number two, patients must avoid each other. As strange as it sounds, if you have cystic fibrosis, your main goal should be to avoid physically meeting other people with cystic fibrosis. There's a bacteria harbored by patients of cystic fibrosis that is only dangerous to other people with cystic fibrosis or to people with unusually low immune systems. So when two people with cystic fibrosis get together, the results can be devastating. It's generally advised that patients maintain a distance of at least six feet between themselves and other patients. Number three, in the olden days, a popular treatment for cystic fibrosis was to have patients sleep in what they called mist tents. It was believed that by being exposed to mist, the mucus in the lungs would thin and help relieve symptoms. Studies have since been done to prove this method unsuccessful. Number four, cystic fibrosis can be life-threatening. In fact, in the mid-1990s, most patients didn't live past 10 years old. Nowadays, treatments for cystic fibrosis are advanced enough to allow most patients to live into their 30s at least, with some even living past 50. However, most people who have cystic fibrosis will die prematurely from complications. Number five. Fortunately, cystic fibrosis is a rare condition. It most commonly affects Caucasians with an incidence rate of one in 3,000. It can affect other ethnicities as well, but the likelihood is significantly lower. Number six. In order to be born with cystic fibrosis, a child's parents must both have the recessive gene for it, and even then, the likelihood of an infant contracting cystic fibrosis is very low. However, a large portion of the population have the recessive gene. About 1 in 30 Caucasians, the demographic most commonly affected by cystic fibrosis, carry a recessive gene. That number is lower for other ethnicities, but there is still a significant amount of the population who carry the gene. Number 7. Cystic fibrosis is sometimes referred to as an invisible disease. This is because the symptoms manifest themselves more internally than externally. You generally can't tell that someone has cystic fibrosis just by looking at them. Number eight, having cystic fibrosis can affect your fertility. Most male patients are completely infertile, while women patients are fertile but may struggle to become pregnant because of their condition. Complications during pregnancy are also common. Number nine, there's currently no cure to cystic fibrosis. Fortunately, there are treatments that can alleviate symptoms and pain, but people born with cystic fibrosis have it for life. Number 10, as we learned earlier, cystic fibrosis is a genetic disorder passed on through mutated genes. So unless both of your parents have a mutated gene, you won't get cystic fibrosis. This is fortunate for the majority of the population, but for the few people who do have cystic fibrosis, having it run in the family can be disastrous. There's about a 1 in 20 chance that if you have cystic fibrosis, you also have a sibling with cystic fibrosis. But if you recall, people with cystic fibrosis can make each other dangerously sick, so they must keep a distance of at least 6 feet at all times. You can imagine how difficult family activities become when two or more of the family members are avoiding each other. I hope you learned something! Have you had experiences with cystic fibrosis? Tell us about it in the comments below. Thanks for watching.